This is entitled God's Heart Cry, and I'd like to share it with everyone. It sure got my attention. I found myself in repentance before God after reading it. Please, I beg you, take it to heart. How much more must I prove my love to you? I sent the only son I had to die in your place. I thought this might prove to you that I love you, but you asked for more. You're never satisfied. You work for comfort and pleasures of this world. You work to build up your kingdoms that will be destroyed by moth and rust. You're living in the pride of life and the lust of the flesh and the lust of your eyes. You think you're living in the real world? I tell you, it's only but a dream. You're just trying to make a desert wasteland into a beautiful fairy tale. When was Jesus not enough? When did my love become just common to you? Why do you ignore me for things that will be destroyed? You say, but these gifts are from God. He wants us to be comfortable, look good, have all the best this world has to give. No, I say. I just promise to take care of you. I promise to love you. You've made a new religion out of stuff. So now you think it's okay to chase the lust of the flesh, mammon? When was I not enough? Why do you not chase me? Why do you chase the things of man, the things of the world? You lukewarm Americans. You hold on to the things of this world in the name of Jesus. Don't use me for your vanity and your lusts. You put things of this life and entertainment and people before me. You have so many gods before me. This is idolatry. Come back to me. Come back to your first love. Remember from where you have fallen. Where are the ones who will chase my heart? Where are the ones who will give up all? Who forsake everything in this world? Where are the ones who will lay down their lives for the gospel's sake? To serve another. To save another soul and bring them into the kingdom. Where are the ones who lay hands on the sick and see them recover? Where are the ones who make demons run? Where are they? Where are they, I ask? If you are the body of Jesus Christ, why do you act as if you are paralyzed? Why do you deny the power of the Holy Ghost in you? Why do you refuse me? You say, I love Jesus, but I say, you speak it with your lips, but your heart is far from me. Disobedient children, you live as if I've never given you a law to live by. If there is anything in this life, your life, or on this earth, that has your heart in any way, shape, or form, you will not rise to meet Jesus in the air. I will spew you out of my mouth, you lukewarm American, who love this world and the things of this world. You who have received the grace of God in vain, hypocrites, Pharisees, I tell you now, let go. Let go of this world. Let go of yourself. Self must die, or you will lose everything. Come after me. Chase me. Follow me. Turn and repent. Leave this world and everything you know behind. I assure you, you will not regret it. Many are called, but few are chosen.